We're going to prove divisibility statements. Use mathematical induction to prove that for every positive integer n, 7 raised to n minus 1 is divisible by 6. Katulad lang din ang pang-prove natin ng summation formula. We have two parts. Okay? This is exa example 2.3.2 .2 of your learner's material for pre-calculus. Okay, let's start. Ganun pa rin, we have two parts. For the proof, for part 1, part 1, eh, we still verify. So, verify. We're still going to verify for n equals 1. We start at 1 because for every positive integer, n or let. So, we start at 1. Verify for n equals 1. And 7 raised to 1 minus 1 is equal to 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Sorry. Minus 1 equals 6 is divisible by 6. Is divisible by 6. Now, for part 2, I need to change color. For part 2, for part 2, we're going to assume, assume that 7 raised to k minus 1 is divisible by 6. By 6. And we're going to prove that. We're going to assume this. And let's just put colon. Assume this. I'm going to prove that 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 is also divisible by 6. Again, ang ginagawa natin dito, uh, assume mo na divisible siya by, sa, divisible to by 6 kapag, if you choose any arbitrary number k, of course, dapat pasok pa rin sa positive integer. Tapos, kailangan nating i-prove na totoo din siya. Kung in-assume mo din siya, totoo siya kay k, then we want to prove na totoo, na totoo din siya kay k plus 1. And then, so that we can... Um, conclude that by, by the principle of math induction, eh, totoo siya for every positive integer n. Now, um, the proof, we want to show this. So we have 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 1. Okay? This is equivalent to 7 times 7 raised to k minus 1. Bakit ito naging ganito? Remember, same base to. And then, kapag nagmumultiply, nagmumultiply tayo ng same base, we just add the exponent. So, magiging 7 raised to 1 times 7 raised to k. It will become 7 raised to k plus 1. So, bubblegum lang siya. So, we can factor out 7. So, it will become like this one. And then, 7 can be expressed as 1 plus 6. So, or 6 plus 1. It can be expressed as 6 plus 1, the 7 times 7 raised to k minus 1. And um, we can, sorry, sorry, we can distribute 7 raised to k. So it will become 6 times 7 raised to k plus, what's this, 7 raised to k minus 1. Okay, if you will notice, by the rules of divisibility or by by definition of divisibility. 6 times 7 raised to k is divisible by 6. By 6. Kasi may factor siya na 6. So, 6 times any number is divisible by 6. And also, 7 raised to... 7 raised to k minus 1 is also divisible by 6. Is divisible... By 6. This is because of our assumption or inductive hypothesis. Then, therefore, if 6 times 7k is divisible by 6 and uh, 7 raised to k minus 1 is divisible by 6, and 6 times 7 raised to k 
plus 7 raised to k minus 1. This is equivalent to 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 1. Tama? Ito, ito siya, so equal to dito. So, kung ang 6 times 7 raised to k is divisible by 6, tapos yung 7 raised to k minus 1 is also divisible by 6, therefore, yung sum nila, which is this, which is essentially this one, 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 1, is also divisible by 6. Is divisible by 6. So, successful tayo sa pagpapakita na 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 6. We assume that it's divisible. 7 raised to k minus 1 is divisible by 6. Then we want to show that it's also divisible kapag k plus 1 is substitute and we're successful on in showing that. Therefore, Therefore, by the principle of math induction, 7 raised to n minus 1 is divisible is divisible by 6 for every for every positive integer n. And that's 